Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeff Robbins again. This video we're going to go over safety wiring bolts on your go-kart. It's definitely a tech item at our track. I would assume it's probably a tech item at most tracks. So the bolts that we have to safety wire here at our track is going to be these two bolts right here that hold our caliper to our cassette. There's also a set of bolts right here that we have to safety wire as well. I've already got a safety wire in that one. And I also like to safety wire the bolts that hold the steering wheel to the steering hub. So I'll safety wire these two bolts together. I'll safety wire these top two together. And then I'll safety wire the two on the other side together as well. So you can do this with just a normal set of needle nose pliers. I've got these safety wire pliers made just for installing safety wire. It makes it real nice. So let me reposition the camera and we'll get these back two bolts safety wired up. Once we're done with these two bolts, I have a LO206 engine down in the basement and I'll show you how to safety wire the exhaust bolts on the 206 as well. Okay, so before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check both bolts just to make sure they're tight. Really no point in putting safety wire on bolts that aren't tight. So we're just going to confirm both our bolts are tight. Like that. And then we're going to get our safety wire. And I got this from a local hardware store. You can get it anywhere. I'm sure you could find it online at a local hardware store near you. Um, but we're just going to want to get a length of it that will reach between both bolts. right there go ahead and cut it right there and one thing we're going to want to pay attention to is these bolts will want to back out and if they back out they're going to back out counterclockwise so when we put our safety wire through we're going to want to keep that in mind because we're gonna to wanna to make it the shortest distance so that it, it can't put slack into the safety wire if it does try to back out on us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this through this way through our hole. Just like that and I'm gonna tuck this end around the bottom of the bolt just like that. So if this bolt goes to try to back out, you can, you can see that it's gonna tighten the safety wire instead of loosening it. If we came the other way, the bolt would be able to back out and it would actually put some slack into the safety wire. And we'll wanna pay attention to that on this top bolt as well. We're gonna to wanna to come in through this side instead of here, which would allow the bolt to, to back out and that would put slack into the safety wire. So we'll go ahead kind of mock that up right there. Get our safety wire pliers. Clamp it onto both wires and the safety wire's got a little lock right here. So you just squeeze down, lock your safety wire pliers. And then all you gotta do is pull this little end and it's gonna spin the pliers for us. So let's get that kind of where we want it. We can start spinning the wire. And if you go too tight, the wire will actually break on you, so you don't want to go too tight. About right there is good, so we'll let it go. And then we're going to feed the wire through this side, so that if the bolt tries to back out, it's going to tighten the safety wire instead of loosen it. So we'll go ahead and slide that through. Grab our pliers here and pull it tight. Now that's tight and then what we'll do is clamp down on both of the wires here that are sticking through the bolt clamp our pliers down again then we'll just spin this to kind of clean this up a little bit here just like that go ahead and cut off our excess 
And after you cut your excess off, just make sure that you tuck this little barb out of the way because it's pretty sharp and it'll snag on you all day long if you don't get that tucked out of the way. So that right there is gonna be how we have those two rear bolts holding our caliper to the kit cassette safety wired. So let's take uh, the camera downstairs and I'll show you how to safety wire the exhaust header bolts on your 206. Okay, so now we're looking at our Briggs exhaust header and these are the two bolts that we need to get safety wired. And I found on these sometimes it's hard to get the wire routed through the ideal way just because there's such little space in between the bolts and the header. So just do the best you can and just make sure that the wire is on here as tight as possible. So I've decided I'm going to come in through this way. Wrap it around this side. Just like that and you'll notice that if this bolt wants to spin out that uh, it's actually going to tighten my safety wire. So we'll go ahead and grab the wire with our pliers. Lock these down. Go ahead and give this a few twists. Just like that. this side pull it through tight with our pliers just like that finish this off with a few twists here that. Go ahead and cut off our excess. And then again, just make sure you tuck that little barb out of the way so you're not getting cut up on it. So job is finished. So that is how you're going to want to wire, safety wire your exhaust header bolts. And thanks once again for watching my videos and have a good time at the track.